Hello everybody, and welcome to Behind the Shots. I'm Pete Nike, I'm a wildlife photographer, and in this series I'm going through some of my favourite wildlife photographs. So let's crack into it, this is today's photo. This is a pukeko, a bird, yeah a bird, <laughs> beautiful bird, pretty common in parts of New Zealand, and it's also up in Australia. They give it some English name up there. I don't, I don't, I don't remember what the English name is in Australia, but in New Zealand we call it pukeko, which is the uh, traditional Maori name. Uh, Maori, if you're not aware, the indigenous people of New Zealand. Um, so yeah, I took this photo in the first COVID-19 lockdown. So I just returned to New Zealand from uh, the USA. I had no job. I had um, a beautiful little niece that I was living with, and I had a camera. So I'd spend my days, uh, I was running, I was playing with my little niece and I was taking my camera out on little walks to go and try and photograph the local wildlife that was in an acceptable range around my house so I could visit it without, you know, being near people. So one place that I visited was this little creek that runs maybe like a 10 minute walk from my house. Uh, maybe it's called the Waifatu Stream. I'm not really too sure what the exact name is, that's just what I call it. And it's just a little creek that runs down, it borders um, in sections, it borders uh, parks, runs right uh, right next to a street, right next to houses. And I just walked along it one day just looking for the pukeko. Because they are a bird that likes to hang out in, in wet areas, uh, swamps, uh, wetlands, and alongside rivers. I'd seen them here before. So I came across a group of three, uh, mum, dad, baby. And it was just started raining. You can actually see some of those rain droplets, can't you, on this pukeko? Yeah, it had just started raining. So I was kind of like taking cover underneath the tree. And these three are walking around. When it first starts off, they're like, they see me, they're like, nah, you're good, bro. We're, we're going to leave you. So I didn't actually approach them because I could tell that they were a bit like not happy with me being too close to their bub. So I just sat underneath the tree. They were feeding nearby. And eventually they just sort of realized like, oh, this guy's chill. This guy's all good. We don't need to worry about him. He's not going to eat us. And I didn't eat them. So they just start uh, getting a bit more comfortable, coming closer and closer. Not super, super close, but I zoomed in to a full 400 meters just to capture this night's nice portrait of this one's face. I took different wide shots with like showing them in their environment, showing their family together. But this one really stuck out to me just because I love the mood behind it. He's got, it's, it's a nice portrait, he's just, there's just some, something in this bird, I just feel moody looking at it. I also, um, most of my photographs don't have this, but it has that, um, that very plain background there, that very plain green background. Most of my photographs have layers in them, but uh, the, I, I also quite like this style where it's just, just the subject and then a very plain background, a nice, nice portrait, nothing other than what you need to see. ISO 1600 F 5.6 one uh, one two hundred and fiftieth of a second. So uh, you can tell that it was a rainy day, overcast, cloudy, low light. So I was zoomed in at 400 millimeters, so that was the lowest my aperture would go, 5.6. ISO 1600 is the highest that I will push my ISO. I won't push it any higher. So th those two were kind of stuck there. ISO 1600 f5.6 and then with those two there the fastest shutter speed i could get was 1 250th of a second a lot of shots didn't quite work out uh, from the sequence just because it was a little bit too dark and the camera was just shaking a little bit or their movement was getting blurred uh so definitely not ideal but i made it work I made it work I, I got little 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 tricks i do where you know like i kind of like hold it steady against something and then take a whole load of shots just to make sure that just to hope that at least one of them is in focus and a lot of the photos didn't work but this one did work and i like it a whole lot i love those colors i love the mood i love the little raindrops sitting uh, sit, sitting on, on their feathers it's i like the photograph i hope you like it too if you do like it it is available for purchase wildboypete.pickfair.com uh, any sort of reason you might need it it is up there ready to go uh, if you like the photo and you can think of a good name for it I never named my photo, so if you want to name the photo, suggest a name in the comments below and maybe it will get a name. 
And if you liked the video, click that like button, subscribe, check out my other stuff, send this out to all your friends, tell your mum, tell your auntie, and um, that's us for today. We'll see you next time.